13 years ago, the UN headquarters in Baghdad was bombed, killing 22 people, most of them aid workers. Now August the 19th is marked as World Humanitarian Day, when those who have given their lives trying to help others are remembered. This year, the global humanitarian picture looks particularly grim. Five years of fighting in Aleppo, Syria's largest city, has left much of it in ruins. Starting as an internal civil war, the conflict now involves most of its neighbours and both the United States and Russia. Whilst the plight of children such as Omran Daknish, injured and alone in the back of an ambulance in Aleppo, has tugged at the heartstrings of millions across the world, it's failed to translate into political action. Humanitarian access to Syria remains shockingly restricted, and the UN has grown increasingly frustrated. As a sign of deep unhappiness about the fact that due to the lack of a pause, no humanitarian aid is reaching anywhere Syria at the moment except the resort, and Aleppo is still eastern Aleppo besieged and western Aleppo in threat of becoming besieged. Russia's warplanes have been bombing rebel positions in Syria and Aleppo for many months now, and recently it began operations from an airbase in Iran. Under UN pressure, Russia says it's ready to establish a truce in Aleppo and that it's willing to distribute humanitarian aid as soon as possible. The UN wants bombing suspended for 48 hours each week to allow supply trucks to reach the inhabitants of the besieged city. Yemen is suffering almost as much as Syria. Humanitarian access is heavily restricted. International aid agency Doctors Without Borders has just pulled out its staff from another hospital after it was bombed on Monday and 19 people killed. But it claims that it will be a temporary measure. I want to insist on the fact that uh, those hospitals will likely to continue to, uh, to provide assistance to, uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to the patients and population in those places. The situation is extremely severe now and there are many, many needs in the field. We hope that all the parties that are involved in the conflict will respect those facilities. The UN says up to two million people across Aleppo are in urgent need of humanitarian assistance, including food, shelter, health services and water. Yet the amount of aid that's getting through is a tiny fraction of what's needed.